Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're making that cool effect, animated effect uh, that you see in the thumbnail, which is like two words um, changing and morphing into each other. Um, so let's start off with a new composition and we're going to choose our size. I'm going to go with a regular uh, 16 by 9 ratio. I'm going to make it uh, 5 seconds. Press OK. Now we don't want to add a background. As you can see, we don't have one. Um, you're going to click on your text tool and write your word. I'm going to go with love. Place it right about in the middle. Command D to duplicate your text layer and then write your second word. I'm going to go with hate. This works really well when you have um, same letter words. It still works if you have like a really short word and then a really long one, but it makes more sense if you have the same number of letters. Um, yeah, that's it. So we're going to go stopwatch at one second. Oops, one second. And we are going to the opacity settings. We're going to activate the stopwatch. We're going to go at three seconds and give it 0%. Now we're going to do the same thing with our other text, but we're basically doing the opposite. So stopwatch at 100 and at one second, we're going to put it on zero so that we now should have, actually I'm going to make my composition like four seconds. So the now when one disappears, the other is going to appear. So normal, regular transition kind of thing. And we're done with these first two layers. Then we're going to add, we're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer. We're going to place it on the top over here. And first in the effects and presets, we're going to search for a Gaussian blur. Over here. And we're going to drag and drop it in there. You'll see, see the effect controls over here. Um, anyways, we're going to go to one second, activate the blurriness stopwatch at two seconds. So halfway through our text uh, dissolving thing, we're going to go with a blurriness of 100. So make it real blurry. And then at three seconds, we are going to place the blurriness to back to zero. Now we are going to search for turbulent displace. So that's what we are going to add. And we're going to go to one second. And uh, first off, edit the size, make a little smaller, maybe like 50. But that depends on whatever you prefer. Activate the amount and we're going to go zero. At two seconds, we're going to go with 50. And at three seconds, we're going to go back to zero. Now, finally, we are going to add a levels, which is this one. And we're going to place it underneath all the other effects. We're going to make sure that the channel selected is not RGB, but is alpha. Go to the middle over here so you can see properly what you're doing. And you want to drag your arrows kind of like this. To get that cool effect. So if we play it back, we get something like this. 
then you can basically uh, export this and then make it go backwards so that you have a perfect looping uh, video that goes from love to hate, from hate to love, back and forth and back and forth. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. Now you can play with all these settings. Um, and adjust them uh, like every single one of them. But I mean, that's up to you. These are the basic effects that you're going to need. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now to have it um, exactly as I posted on Instagram, I just basically exported this, brought it into Photoshop, blurred, Blurred it a little bit, added some noise or grain, whichever one you prefer. And then on top of that, I added a gradient map. So that's how I got all those cool colors. But this is the basic effect. Uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll probably see you next week. Um, thanks so much for watching. I love you, and bye.